so if you are managing an Azure tenant then you may have come across uh, in the security about the user risky user risky sign-in if you have seen it then you might be wondering where this is coming from right uh, what does it really mean how does it happen and why does it happen what's the difference between risky users and risky sign-in and uh, risk detection or you know user risky user risk detection there are three options so uh, if you're managing Azure environment is something you may you will have you do have the visibility that feature comes by default if you're managing office 365 that you log into user you can still see it but the point I'm making here how you can take it to the next level so there are benefits for two two benefits basically if you're managing it it's good and if you are not, and if you wanted to learn in the Azure and want to learn about Azure security, that is a must have. You cannot ignore this because companies and organization already using Microsoft Azure. Now you want to show them the capability and these kind of feature which can uh, secure your overall tenant. But this in particular piece, we are talking about uh, identity access management or protection for your identities in uh, Azure specifically. Uh, I'm going to show uh, real quick uh, that video talking about uh, more details. But basically, there's a machine learning and AI behind the scene. And uh, there is also machine teaching you can do. So, uh, and also based on the user behavior, let's say if you're logging in from one location and if you log in from different location, those things happen. So, I've explained much more detail in the video. So, let's get into it. Hello, thanks for tuning in and today I'm here with another very interesting topic uh, about uh, security feature in Azure Active Directory. Uh, so imagine you have an uh, Azure Active Directory and people are signing in and there are different scenarios for example. Anyways, there are some updates on the dashboard that TLS1 and support for the old encryption protocol is going to be deprecated so if you are uh, in the same situation uh, it may need your attention i do not have any hybrid setup so you can see i do not have any azure ad connect and secure score for my identity is 48 percent i see let's just take a look i will not be going much into the details but still we have a topic related to uh, some sort of identity today so I'm going to be talking about how do you protect your user in uh, in your Azure tenant because when it comes to any cloud environment uh, the identity is uh, the one of the biggest area you need to be very careful about or you need to pay some attention um, score history I wanted to show you here since we are talking uh, my score has already been there so it means I have not been paying attention in the last 90 days and if you're in the same situation it needs your attention you at least needs to make some improvement 40 to 10 20 or 30 percent depending uh, and this is what it says uh, okay so improved actions uh, for admin account it says there is no MFA definitely uh, that's uh, I'm surprised I'm sure I do have that uh, designate more than one global admin yes so that's something I don't have I know about my tenant do not allow user to grant consent to unnamed unmanaged locations yes so this is important so again um, I can go on and on maybe uh, there are a ton of uh, videos required for that but today is we will talk about risky user sign in user and risk detection uh, because this is important how do you secure your identities in Azure so uh, 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 this is very common than uh, attacks on the user ID and credential leaks and this is usually uh, happens so that's why you need to make sure your user accounts are secure so i don't see anything here uh because uh i my tenant looks like there has not been there uh, something what i remediated back in july it shows me here um and then i do not have much things to here 
and user so there are different categories for example risky user versus risky sign in versus detection so these things help you when you log into your tenant it will give you the visibility hey if there are any risk detection so give me let me give you an example how does this thing work risk detection for example if i go and pull the data from last 90 days i do not have any risk you know what it means if I'm Adnan, if I'm logging in every day from my location, New Jersey, and if I happen to log in from California, our de detection will happen because of my user behavior logging in every day. If my behavior of the login has changed, there will be a uh, event trigger and it will detect it. Same thing will apply to any other thing which has not been a normal behavior. If that behavior changes, it will appear here as a detection that something the system, uh, the artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, has detected based on the machine learning of a user and the trigger got alert. Uh, there are scenarios where it can be false positive, but we'll leave it for some other this time and discussion. But that being said, once the risk is detected, which unfortunately I don't see it, and uh, I cannot show you here. Uh, let me see if I can, uh, and then I can go more into the details. Uh, attack, I can go to all of them. So here are all the risk detection type. For example, the one I just covered is account suspicious sign in. Uh, it could be activity from an anonymous IP address, for example, same scenario. Uh, if the U admin confirmed a user compromised, um, we can talk more later. Uh, anonymous IP address, a typical travel again, if I'm here and logging into California or China or other part of the world, a trigger will be triggered. So these are the detection types basically and machine learning is working behind the scene and when it happens it will make that user it will make a call and appears here which is unfortunately I do not have that and based on that it will tell you uh, the details about the risky user sign in and all the details where the user is logging in from which device and all that stuff so that it, it it has a pretty nice there feature which can show you all that stuff so maybe uh if i can show you something here let me try because none of the events has been triggered and i'm showing you live here in my lab or my production tenant per se i would say uh at least it should i can i do have one more area where i can show you some of that stuff but let's see i have all these detection type enabled password spray again so you, you got to basically enable these things in your tenant regardless. And I can tell you within a couple of days, you'll start seeing it. But uh, in production environment, I will tell you just uh, read carefully, study carefully, just do not uh, apply and make your uh, action, uh, take them carefully. You know, it can also counterproductive and can also cause some pain to the user community. So you have to be very careful when or if you make any decision. So I did not find any risk sign in and risky user. So sign in means is that uh, something uh, from detection sign in. But risky user and sign in is that the only one big difference. Risky user means account has been compromised, means password has been linked and that's why it appears here. So if you see any user which appears a risky sign in or a risky user, it means credential has been unique and you have to take action accordingly. Now, one of the things I wanted to show here is about uh, the user's audit log, which I can go back and show you from here, uh, which can give you the sign in details about me logging in. And these are the signing logs basically. So I can cover more in the future, but again, uh, sign in logs give me the idea about a user logging in from different location and IP address and everything. So, as you can see, uh, it has for the last 24 hours, I can go for a whole month and it will give me the location or the location which I've been logging in mostly. Uh, and that's another good area you can start investigating for a particular user if the user is going to log in from different cities or different countries it will show you all the failure and success. So this is pretty nice tool. Go use it, leverages. Uh, it's a Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Uh, one is the one security one I told you. This is for the monitoring. And maybe I'll 
plan on putting some more videos. So stay tuned. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye.